Hey guys, welcome to camp. Glad you can join me on this beautiful snowy day. Uh, this is where I spend most of my summers camping, but as you can see, uh, summer is definitely over and winter is here. Uh, today's chores, clearing some of this road with a makeshift plow I made uh, to haul behind my SUV, uh, setting up camp, getting a fire going, having a few brewskis, have some uh, leftover turkey dinner in the Dutch oven on the fire, and then um, head into the tent and spend the night. So stay tuned for that. For years, a transom got run. A piece of my childhood will never be forgotten. It was just an old bottle of love. You sent me proud dust, licked through the choke. A young boy with two hands on the wheel. I can't replace a way. The feeling I would strip my mind. You can see there's a lot of snow on the tent the past couple of days. Kind of the weight's kind of kind of squishing it all down. Got a peg out of the ground. Ground's frozen now, broke the peg. I'm gonna try a metal peg, but the uh, camper's in the way as well, which is not helping. All right, I think that's gonna work. All right, guys, I just saw a long black, not sure what it was, if it was a weasel. It's a huge weasel. It's probably about two feet long. Anyway, just went under the snow here. I can't see it anymore, just went under the snow. Some tracks here, but I don't think that's it. It just disappeared under the snow right here. And it was black too, which is weird because um, you know, it's winter. Everything is usually white this time of year. Anyway, maybe I can see it again later. So I got camp set up. Um, got the snow off of it, luckily, because I was really weighting it down. I don't want to break any of the, uh, uh, any of the, uh, the aluminum poles. And you see, I got the, uh, the, uh, propane tank here. I got the big buddy heater inside. I'm not putting anything, I'm gonna leave everything in the car, like sleeping bags, things like that, until I get to go to bed, or at least go in the uh, 
tent and start the uh, heat. Here, I'll give you guys a tour while it's daylight of the inside. Uh, zipper's a little bit frozen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. So over here, I just have a uh, my bin with some stuff on top there that I'm going to use outside. Then I have the cot. I have a little box over there for garbage. I have the uh, big buddy heater right here. I have a little thing for when I come in. But you know, there's lots of space in here. You can see I have a skylight for a roof, but I have a blanket and a tarp to keep in the warmth. But I don't mind letting a little of the heat out because with the big buddy heater, it's a safety thing. So it is snowing. Uh, it's supposed to stop. Hopefully it does. So I'll keep cleaning this off. But in the meantime, I'm going to clean off the pop-up while I'm waiting and uh, clear off all of here if I, in case I need it later. So that's the next step. Get a fire going. Not a fire going, a fire built for later. So stay tuned for that. Still snowing. It's supposed to stop. Hopefully, it does. I don't mind the snow. I just don't have to keep uh, shoveling off the tent or have it all weighted down all night. So. I don't want to prepare the fire, so I don't want it to be. I don't want to make this and then I'll get full of snow on top.
Okay guys, uh, camp set up, everything's cleaned off, the fire's ready to go here. Uh, so I'm just going to take the rest of the afternoon and uh, not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll uh, check back in with you guys when I light the fire. Alright guys, it's still snowing, but it's pretty mild. Uh, I think it's about minus one, so it's pretty nice, but it's still snowing just a little bit. It's supposed to stop around seven. Uh, I just spent the afternoon uh, bringing uh, some of this wood down that I have on the side of the road here. Just going to pile it and let it uh, sit till spring and then I'll split it. Um, it's almost 3.30, so I'm going to head down, light the fire, and uh, unload this wood first, then light the fire, and uh, start relaxing before it gets dark, so I'll see you guys at the fire. I can get this fire going well. It's uh, a lot of snow in there. I think we're going to be all right. Can't have fire in a beer without country music. Oh my god, it's good. You know, there's something about a beer that's chilled outside and drank outside. It just makes it so much better, especially in the winter. Fire's going well. It's around 3.30. going to be dark probably in about an hour and a half. I'll be cooking right on top of the stove here. I'm just going to take the cap off of this chimney. I'm going to cook right on top of there with the uh, Dutch oven. This is burning pretty fast, so I've got to get some wood. All right, guys, got the fire stoke there. And uh, got the radio going over here. Got the beer going over here. What else can you ask for on a nice December night? All right, guys, I'll let you enjoy the fire a little bit there. A little music over there. Hopefully it's not too loud. 
case you're wondering, this is my father-in-law's property, um, southeastern Quebec, close to Vermont border. Anyway, he was nice enough to let me camp here and put my pop-up camper here. And this is a, where all this wood is coming from, off of the property. But I don't cut anything that's standing. There's so much around here that it's falling down. I just cut that up and uh, use it for campfires. Cheers again, guys. Oh, Merry Christmas. Sorry, I forgot. Hopefully everybody out there had a Merry Christmas. New Year's coming up. All right, guys. I'm going to uh, enjoy this fire here. And uh, I'm going to prepare uh, the uh, Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven for my uh, leftover uh, Christmas uh, dinner. I'll be cooking it right up here. So stay tuned for that. So tonight for dinner we have leftover Christmas dinner in the Dutch oven. I got it on the fire here. I just took the uh, chimney off and uh, that should get hot enough with that fire, that's for sure. All right, guys, I'm going to have my uh, supper here in front of the fire. Just let me get this open. I might have lost track of time there. It got dark on me in a hurry. Here, I'll put my headlamp on. There we go. It's kind of a turkey, carrots, uh, peas, turnip, potatoes. All done up, left over in the uh, Dutch oven over the fire. There you go. It's really good. Oh, sorry. There we go. Another bite here. Especially on a cold 
December night in front of a fire. Very delicious. All I'm missing is the gravy. Here, anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you enjoy the fire there for a second. I'm gonna finish my dinner. Gotta clean up the uh, Dutch oven. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy a couple more beers here by the fire. I'll see you guys in when I'm in the tent. All right, guys, I'm inside the tent here. Uh, I brought everything inside from the car. I got the big buddy heater going on low. Let me show you that here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And uh, I forgot the battery pack for my lantern. So I got my survival flashlight on LED. And also have my survival radio, emergency radio, the LED lights. So it's always good to have a backup. All right. And I got the uh, big buddy heater going there. Keep me nice and toasty. All uh, right, so snacks for tonight. I have uh, some ruffles. And uh, we're also going to have some onion dip. That'll be for later. Also probably going to crack open a little wine for the uh, munchies. And of course a uh, DVD. So I have my uh, DVDs here. I'm going to pick one after. And of course my DVD player. I also have also have the uh, the bat my battery deep cycle battery, and I have it hooked up to my inverter here, so I can plug in my phone or. Whatever I need, all the comforts of home. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna change into some dry clothes. Probably pick out a movie and uh, I'll check in with you. Later. Hey guys, um, just about to crack open this uh, vino here. A little glass for bed. Go with the snacks. So this is uh, Robert Mondavi, I guess you'd call it. Robert Mondavi, Napa Valley. Uh, let's see here. You can't really read this. Here we go. Robert Mondavi created the first Fumé Blanc in 1966 to distinguish his unique Savignon Blanc from other styles produced by that time. This crisp, refreshing wine captures the vivid character of Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc and exhibits bright citrus, melon, floral, and mineral notes. Robert Mondavi built his Napa Valley winery with a singular vision to create wines that stand among the world's finest. All right. Really upset I forgot my lantern. That's why I'm using this, uh, using this, uh, my LEDs there on my flashlight and my radio. All right, guys. Crack this baby open. So the temperature tonight is supposed to go down to about minus 12. But I have the heat going and I have a minus 5 sleeping bag so I should be fine. All right, I'll put this over here, try not to spill it. Okay. Mm, that's really good. Now it's time to open the chips. And the dip. 
I got onion dip this time. Also very good. Now, gotta move this for a sec. Here we go. I've also changed into some dry clothes to sleep in. Tonight I wanted to watch uh, Goodfellas, but I can't find the DVD, so I'm not sure where it went, but I know I have it. So, tonight, since I can't find Goodfellas, I figured I would go with a, another... Um, go with another kind of gangster movie, Donnie Brasco, I guess. So we're going to get that going in the DVD player and uh, finish the wine and some snacks. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, get this DVD going, have some uh, wine and some snacks, and I'll check back in with you uh, when uh, I'm ready for bed. All right, guys, there's not too much going on. It's pretty calm and quiet outside, except for this tree behind me that uh, sounds like it's going to come crashing down on top of me at any moment. Um, it's not too bad outside. I think it's about minus 12, minus 10. But uh, in the uh, tent here, it's 20-something uh, degrees uh, Celsius, so it's perfect. <clears throat> this buddy heater's great. It's actually too good. It's actually too warm in here, but uh, I have it on low, and there's nothing else I can do about that. Uh, I'm going to finish up the movie. I'm going to um, finish up some snacks, maybe have another glass of uh, wine, and uh, hit the hay. So uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. You can't trust Sonic Black. Sonny Black is one big fat fucking snake in the grass. Snake in the grass. You can't say that now. Sonny Black is a skipper. You don't open your fucking mouth about him. MD. This fucking guy Richie calls me up. He says, look at I'm getting hassled by a couple of half-assed wives today. So he's looking for a partner, you know, to give him a little peace of mind. He's got this nightclub to run down there. Got a nightclub? Yeah. He's got a singles club. He's near the beach. I got two grenades in my house. I blow up on Mulberry Street before I get you ready. You understand? I don't know what I would do, but there's something wrong. Oh, good morning, guys. Um, it's about 7.30. Had a good sleep. Except I was awake at 2 o'clock because I was too hot. So I took off the fleece that I had. I guess better being too hot than too cold. Big Buddy Heater did a good job again last night. Oh, God. It is very calm out there. No wind. I see a chipmunk jumping around in the trees there. It is definitely cold though. I can feel it coming in through the window. Anyway, overall it was a good night. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching. Until next time.